listening to the simple man with Ethan Krell and Stan Nicky Rod and Damian Anderson. Ooh. Stay a while if you know about the jujitsu. If you don't, you can come to this is BT. Um. Shit, we got a call in from Mr. Nicky Ryan last episode. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's gone now already. <laughs> he's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> he's gone for good. He Nicky did train once. Oh, he trained. I he was trained gone. Day. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, it was good. I mean, I didn't really... I don't know. I didn't pay to any... We were with him? We, we were tra- No, he doesn't train with me. <laughs> he doesn't want to train with me. Because you're spaz. I'm too spazzy. <laughs> We've been scrapping lately. We've been having you guys been have been scrapping. Yeah, scrapping it's lately. fucking Fun good. Watch. Yeah, yeah. Sick. It, I like how you... You always take something away from a role with Ethan. Yeah, give it You're back. Like, oh, I have to work on this. I have to work on that. Like I yeah, don't get much out of it. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not yeah. much I can learn from my role. Yeah, yeah, that's why. It's uh, no, yeah. It, I mean, yeah. I, you got to fucking scrap with with uh, good guys scrap, and yeah, try to dude. try to get better each round, right? We don't have to like kill each other every fucking like. We're definitely doing rounds with guys that we can. There's Deep easier shit. rounds and there's tougher rounds, and we yeah. you have to have those tough rounds or else you're. There's no, there's no dog fight, you know. Yeah. Look at your face; it's all clawed up from fucking scrapping. Fuck. I got, I got two things on my eyes from fucking scrapping. Yeah, look right? at all the bruises on me. I'm black. Yeah. I just, oh, oh my god! <laughs> you gotta ice yourself. <laughs> Shit. So what happened to your face? I don't know. It's beautiful, I, but you know what happened. Thank you. I just looked in the mirror after practice. I was like, oh, you didn't even know. Good. I, I had to point it out to you. Yeah, I, f- I completely forget. Don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how. how and, what happened I, to you? Oh wow, you do have black eyes. I thought you were fucking around. No, I have. You have like, no idea. I don't remember. I don't. I you legitimately don't know. Yeah, fucking. How did I get here? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, that's how you know you're going hard as you're shit when you walk. You you go into the shower and you look in the mirror after. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> or like the water hits your face. And you're like, ah, yeah, 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 the sting. It stings so good. Yeah. It's the the best feeling. That the fucking, best feeling, the sting, the hard, the knowing that you're scrapping. That's the best feeling. You After, guys, <clears throat> sorry, what are you saying? You guys ever, you guys ever skip rocks. in the moment, right? Yeah. You ever, you ever, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do I want to word this? You ever having sex and you're holding a fart in? And, <laughs> wow. and then when you come, you also <laughs> fart. <laughs> uh, dude, that's never happened to me. It's never happened. No, it's, I mean, at least uh, I don't think it has. It, it didn't stick in my mind. If it I ha- just, I just, I just let a rip. Yeah, it happened to me recently. But like when I was, when I was releasing, <laughs> everything got released. <laughs> just ah, what yeah. you shit yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. But I was hold, holding a oh. fart, and and when the I nut. came, it was. Everything came. It was explosive decompression. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I once, uh, well, actually, it was like, it was like a poof, everything just poof, out of his nose, out of his ass. yeah, ears bleed. Jesus Christ! Uh, your back ever crack when you try and force out a fart? <laughs> Are you backed up? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So it only happens when I'm lying down in bed, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it, it only happens when I'm lying down in bed with my legs up. <laughs> and <I> go, <laughs> sometimes I'm like so, I'm going to sleep and you know you got some gas build up and I'm <laughs> I'm lying down so there's no like weight on my back and I go like <laughs> <laughs> I go my like I fart and back crack at the same time that's impressive really? it's the most satisfying like lower deep lumbar back crack I can't explain it you must have a good core a strong core it like, only <laughs> happens when I like go like <laughs> And then you're like, <laughs> that's wild. Stretching your back. Gr- I think like from the, f- like from this part of my spine, you know, mm. not like that part. This Sometimes part. Uh, in the morning when I'm like walking around, I can take a deep breath and like kind of roll my shoulders forward and crack the crack middle of my back. Yeah. yeah. I get like one good back crack a day. How do you do it? Like, I like, yeah, I twist it. I I'm going to do it right now. Here, hold, hold the mic to my All right. Okay. 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 It's just like back there. Dislocates <laughs> since fucking... Oh, nice! Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you hear the fart? <laughs> <All> <laughs> no, right. I smelled it. Okay. No, but uh, yeah, back cracking's great. 
Nice. We just is did it. it. Is, did you guys ever hear growing up like, don't crack your knuckles because your fucking hands are going to be whatever you think is baloney? That's a bunch of hooey. Bunch of, <laughs> <laughs> those fuckers are lying. <laughs> and it's just big crack trying to smear again. <laughs> big crack. <laughs> big crack. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before or no? I definitely heard it. They make your knuckles fat, give you arthritis. And Do you think it's true? I mean, I don't think so. The guys, um, I mean, this has nothing to do with cracking fingers, but the gi people, they have some fucked up hands. They have terrible fingers. Disgusting. Even like, like the women, the women, women. they look horrendous. Oh, like, don't touch creatures. me. <laughs> like witch hands. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. You guys know who Stay Cat f- Williams is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever see the Cat Williams when he was, when, uh, like the, the chick was trying to say that like Cat Williams has fucked up hair and he was like, this is not a wig. This is, this is my natural hair. Why don't you put one of your gnarled fingers through it? <laughs> Gnarled fingers. That's such an offensive word. <laughs> gnarled fingers. You ever see him roast a get into like roast a, this old la- this lady online on a radio show? Nope. Was he not the one that I was talking about? I mean, he could have been like he said something she- about her gnarled finger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. Let me see what I find. Cat Williams is so funny. But like back in the day, yeah. maybe like I don't know, 10, is he, 10, 15 years ago. Is he the same era as Dave Chappelle or? Before I think before before I think. well Dave Chappelle definitely you know they were doing comedy together but I think Cat Williams was probably like a little before a bigger name and as, then as Chappelle was coming as, up exactly exactly Chappelle's one of my favorite comedians oh, I think ever. he's everyone's right he, he's he? like one of the he has to be one of the best ever I agree I concur all right I think I got one okay. <laughs> I've been remembering for a while now, right? I'm not the right one in Jones, though. If you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me down. <laughs> if your cholesterol is 600, whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you little mama. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, and what are you, girl? You probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, you big on the radio. Right. You big on the radio. Turn it down. And you're yes, big in ma'am. prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock it off. Prison and jail aren't the same. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Only one of us has $12 worth of jewelry on. No, no, no. That all is available. If you want to if you want to have Wanda's jewelry, please go to Sitgo or Quick Trip at any point. Quick Trip. Two packs of Newport 100s. They will give you everything Wanda has on right now. $7.99 and it comes with a free car wash. Won't you come Absolutely. <laughs> that's the same. That's the oh, same. That's the so same. Good. The same gnarled finger. Yeah, yeah. That's the gnarled finger. The like, it's like somewhere later. Oh, before uh, later. So good, dude. One of my favorite oh my uh, Cat Williams moments is, um, I think it's called like Friday After Next or something like that, where he plays like this pimp mini Mike, mini pimp, something know. like that. Um, yeah, money, Mike. Mon- money, know, Mike. money, money, Mike. Mike. What, what's it yeah. called? What, what's the Friday after next. Yeah, and so he like in the in the movie some some this like big dude tries to like tries to almost rape him like in a bathroom, right? And he grabs his he grabs the guy's nuts with a like a fucking wrench or something like that. With and, a wrench. Uh, yeah, yeah. He would just in the in the movie he would have such golden remarks. He'd be like, he maybe he falls down. And he's like, oh, pimp down, pimp need help. <laughs> it's so funny. So, pimp down. He's so pimp in the stress. Funny. It's fucking hilarious. What are some other funny? Comedian. Right no, now, Will Ferrell. Well, oh, like, Will, um, well, in in movies, comedian. I was saying Will Ferrell's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, what's the gay Vikings guy? Uh, oh, Shane, Shane Gillis. Gillis. Shane Gillis. He's yeah. the best right now. Yeah, I think. yeah he's yeah. the funniest guy. He's like the ever hottest. Right Him and Theo Vaughn are like the Theo hottest Vaughn. comedians right Did now. Did you see oh, Shane Gillis on? On Kill Tony recently at the Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like oh, getting so through it. Funny. We did. We started. Uh, yeah, the first yeah. One. I didn't yeah. watch any more Dude, than that. So though. fucking funny. Anytime he plays Trump, it's gold. Yeah, yeah I've seen him play Trump. He, so good. I saw a clip recently of him and uh, fuck. I forget the other comedian's name. He's been on Kill Tony a bunch, and they're the two of them are sitting talking to another guy, and the guy's like, "Yeah, my wife's black, and uh, we were uh, having a." She was having a baby, and the baby came out with a umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. And the other comedian goes, "Oh, a lynching!" <laughs> God. And Shane oh. Gillis is like, "What, the f- bro? Oh like, my god! Was oh, a lynching? That. Fucking funny, man! That's How awesome. was it, Kill Tony uh, at MSG? Uh, you I mean, the whole thing? I watch. I watch most of it. I think there's a couple. There's episodes. two parts. There's two yeah, parts. Really? I only watch one part, but I mean, it's yeah. great. I watch almost all of the Kill. Tony's. I wonder if that changes the dynamic because. Initially, it's like 
if they're at Austin doing Kill Tony, it's still kind of nerve wracking, but it's a smaller crowd. Now you're talking about an MS at MSG. Those guys are gonna some of the some of the, the people who were put on stage. I also I saw like the first one, and I'm like kind of a little bit into the second one, the second night. Some of them just get horribly nervous, fuck up, and then just get roasted for like <sighs> yeah ten minutes straight. It's brutal. Yeah, it's oh, it's surprising brutal. when you get like a random person to do really well. Very it's like, surprising. Wow. It's so motivated. It's like oh, there's hope out there. There's yeah. like I can do anything if this yeah. guy can do it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I don't really awesome. like when I see the guys just bombing. No, it's, it's I, like I don't like it. It's me. very like, cringy, Whoa. but I can't not watch. Like, I want to watch it still, mm, yeah. but it's unpleasant. When the that's, guys do really well. I think that's well. part of the lore of, like, yeah. like, the cringiness of it. You know, if it it's was like, all good, it'd be too yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Then it's a normal comedy show. That's the whole yeah. thing is Kill Tony. So well, it's Cam like, blew up on that shit. Oh, right? Yeah. He was Cam just like Patterson? a random. Yeah, he was just a random yeah. out of the hat, right? And I like rocks. I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. That was what he said. That's just that change. That line changed his life forever. Yeah, yeah. He's like a big You should hit Cam up. Huh? You should hit Cam up. Get him on the podcast. You're probably related. Both jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's Jamaican and Filipino, and Nikki Rod goes, "You're you're part Filipino, <laughs> Filipino." Guys, we're uh, starting to launch a Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Oh, yeah. So patriarchy. A patriarchy. You know we're support about that. The patriarchy. <laughs> so you guys can support the patriarchy by doing the Patreon. We filmed our first workout. Workout went well. My forearms are shot. You good. guys did way better than I did in, the, in it was fun in that one. It was it was. A good I like one. the th- the throwing the bag. It made me feel like my idea. Um, my it idea. was your idea. Yeah, it was your I'm idea. I'm proud of that. I it loved was, it. It was cathartic. It was it, like, yeah, it was yeah. cathartic. Right, max effort. It's like my ancestors were doing this for yeah. some reason. For they were throwing, throwing, throwing the rocks throwing into shit. a wall to break the castle and invade. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, don't think I so. don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I lost something once. No, but it was it was fucking. It was super fun workout. It's on the Patreon. It's gonna be edited nice. Yeah, basically, I think I need a bigger bag for myself, though. Me too. Yeah. It was too easy for me as well. Well, I'm, tw- I'm I got like I'm I got twice your size. Guys. You say no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wow. It was good. So what, what did we do? We did our bag toss, deadlift, and rows, and then farmers carries. Dude, the farmers carries, man. My yeah. They were. That was so I difficult. Like, I have like a little. Fucking notch right there oh, from like blisters almost. For I call me. blisters on me fingers. Yeah, yeah. You guys have these guys built up. These calluses. Calluses. Yeah. Oh, I started getting. Blood, hey, there you go. Blood blisters on one. I mean, I always had like them kind of built up, but. So you recently started lifting, right? I don't know if we spoke consistently about this. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, I knew that I wanted to start lifting. <clears throat> I, it should have been incorporated, but it was just difficult with. With, you know, MMA and shit. <clears throat> and then I had two back-to-back fight camps. So then I, w- I told myself that after my last fight, I would get into lifting. So then, and Ethan's always been talking about lifting. You've always been talking about lifting. So, well, I think you recognize that you don't have to lift for an hour and a half. You know, we could just make it fun. Dude, 15, 20 that was minutes. 15 minutes. And Killed that's us. like, you can't do that every day. That's no, a lot yeah. right there. Like you yeah. have to. Pace yourself and yeah, again, like you don't need an yeah. hour in the yeah. gym. That's the biggest thing. I think when I was coming up, especially in football, it was like we were in the fucking gym for hour, two hours yeah. sometimes. And, you know, we're getting a good lift in, but I can't do that while trained at the same time. Yeah. But when we started lifting, you know, we do like, we try to get it in like under 45 minutes, could be like 30 minutes yeah. um, for the both of us. And then we have this 15 minute workout. It's fucking mm. super solid. I feel great after. Yeah. So yeah, I've been uh, lifting, been taking creatine now too. Fuck yeah, there you go. I bought I bought some exercise equipment. Like you saw the the cable machine that's yeah. lying down. Eventually, it's gonna take me a long time to get it built. Now you but eventually do it easy. J Rod's usually the, the person that do, does that stuff. I buy J-Rod's it, he builds builder. it. Yeah, he's gonna end up like hanging himself <laughs> on it somehow, dude. When, when, he, when he was a kid, yeah. he would love to do like the Legos and oh, like, me too. I yeah, love that all shit. The build, all the build stuff. He would. I hated Legos. That. I fucking yeah, love the building crazy. shit, but I hated Legos. Bro, Legos were my fucking. Oh. <laughs> Love yeah. it. So yeah, Jay's gonna, uh, Jay's yeah. gonna build it up. Dude, I've spent four hundred dollars on a bar. A bar? Uh well, like a, a lifting bar. A lifting bar. Why why is it so expensive? Or is that normal They're price? Like, oh, it's Saracoded. It's it's a good name. What road? Yeah, what really made me do it is Jason Kaliba when he lifted with us, he was like he talks shit your about bars your gym. Are terrible. He's like, your gym sucks. He's like, <laughs> your bars, bars are terrible. What's wrong with the bars? Bar? 
What did he, what did he say? What's is your not, bar? He, well, he just he's just he's been around the best bars, best equipment in the world. So he looks at my bar. He's like, oh, this is a cheap bar. I was like, bro, a, <laughs> how much better could a bar be? It's get, that's what gets I the said. job done. But Jason, it's a straight line. Jason, if you're listening, I hooked it up. I got a bought a rogue bar, so that's where. We're All at. right, okay, rogue bar. Four hundred bucks for a rogue. Bar. Yeah, it's like three ninety something. It's Jesus like a Christ. Olympic uh, weight. Like it's 45, yeah, I mean, it's forty five yeah, pounds. It's forty five pounds. Yeah. It's I mean, it's, it's made out of fucking gold and platinum. <laughs> it's I got, guess it's got rims on it. I don't I know the what, cool color. But like, why I is I don't get why is one bar better than the other? Do you know? I don't know. What is a Cerakote? I mean, it's just the color. You can get it. What color is it? What, oh shit! I got I it. I got a, it. I got it. The bar red and the the where the weights go is black. Sick. That's fucking cool. But I'm getting a new gun. I was trying to get the. I was trying to get an American flag one, but I was extra like ninety bucks. I was like, I'm oh, go fuck. I'm not that American. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll put a sticker on it. The Simple Man Podcast teamed up with Merrick Health to offer a turnkey complete package designed for those driven to maximize performance and support longevity with the most elaborate testing available on the market. At Merrick Health, you'll get extensive lab work, over 100 carefully selected biomarkers to provide detailed insights into your hormone profile, cardiovascular health, organ function, and metabolic status. You'll get custom lab reports with actionable recommendations validated by their clinical research team and physicians. A thorough analysis of your lab report and video call review with Merrick Health. You'll get expedited onboarding for those interested in working with a Merrick Health medical provider for personalized treatment options, ranging from hormone optimization and cognitive enhancement to hair loss prevention and body recomposition, all from the comfort of your home. The optimization package includes the same elaborate panel I get myself, and with those test results, the Merrick Health clinical team optimizes my personalized protocol. To get the exact same panel and medical oversight, click the link in the video description, MerrickHealth.com forward slash SimpleMan, and use the code SimpleMan, all capitals, to save 10% at checkout. Get your blood work done at Merrick Health. Use code SimpleMan, all caps. What's wrong with you? Oh, fuck. I have the fucking key. Mariella is at the house right uh, now. Oh, SpaghettiO. What do we do? Um, you don't have a, a key dug in a hole somewhere? No. Fuck. <laughs> what do we do? I might have to leave. All right, it is what it is. Yeah, we don't, we don't want you here anyway. Yeah, you're not invited. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you here anyway. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> How long we've we been going for? <laughs> 15, 15, Fifteen minutes. Oh minutes. fuck! We have been here for like three hours. So yeah, yeah. yeah. In, uh, we just the... did the workout, so we're fucking yeah, yeah. Oof. Workout. We got here at five. We probably worked out from um, five thirty to forty five. Let me think. Let me think. What? Can <sighs> can you open the garage and the garage door is open? Or is that locked? You know, there is an app. I just don't have the app to open the garage door, and I can't do it right now. Can she, does she have a? Can you no. open the garage from her car? Uh, no, she don't have a fucking. <laughs> How far is the reach? <laughs> She's just outside of the oh, shit. fucking patio. Tell her go go lift. Go hit the hit the pool. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. She's feeling sick. I'm going to head out. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, Ethan, Thank how's you, it going? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. You're competing soon. Hold yeah. on, guys. Before we leave then, oh, we got right. a gift. We did? <clears throat> I, have, <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. Um... So X Marshall uh -huh. became a sponsor for the Simple Man podcast. They oh, sent, they sent us a this. gift. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. So let's take a look. All right. So we're opening this. This is a first time reaction. Okay. There's one for each of us. Yeah, I think that the names are on. There. Are there names? Oh, never mind. No, I'm okay. Wrong. I don't know. I don't know. We're, I'm gonna toss you guys one. Here, we'll open these up on camera, I guess. I don't. I don't know. They're supposed to be funny or something. I think he was like, we have some. some okay, funny you you ideas. go first. All right. 
looks like. This looks like Mr. Jones. This looks like Craig T. Okay. Oh shit! Captain Hill Hook. Captain Craig Hill Jones. Hook. Oh sick. Okay. All right. Okay. Jeez, that's pretty funny. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Sick. <laughs> Semen hands. <laughs> Semen hands. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. That's fucking Holy sick. Shit. That's Semen right, hands. This one. That does look like you. This is fucking hilarious. That is awesome. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, sick. What's it say? Just my name. Krellenstein. <laughs> Krellenstein. You need a nickname. Okay. Krellenstein. Krellenstein. Okay. Cool, Sick. Yeah. These are sick. Sick. We need to find a nickname for you. What is this? Yeah, I need. What's my nickname? Jay. Oh, J Dog. Oh. J Rod. J Rod. Your buggy is joke is J Rod approved. Oh wow. That does look like bananas and strawberries. Is that bananas or no? That's fl Japanese fluffy pancakes. There's oh, what? Japanese fluffy oh. pancakes. That's his oh, favorite thing. Nice. That is hilarious, bro. Sick. This is so funny. Oh that's yeah, awesome. that one's. This is hilarious. hilarious. Where do you you want to throw this on the chair for Wait, where's yours? Me? Nikki Rods. Oh, here. Nikki Rods. Ah, here. This, one, this one's yours. The Rod Father. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's oh, fucking that's sick. Very cool. Very sick, cool. sick. Epic. I think they might have enhanced my abs. Good. good. Very good, very good. The Wait, Rodfather do the podcast. I I can wait a bit. I want to. I'll just sweat it out. Hold on. All right. Well, you do what good you job. can. You're uh, oh, dude. These are fucking awesome. Yeah. Good Shout job, out. X Marshall. Thank X you, Marshall. German. Thank you. Very nice. Hey guys, Jim here, the producer of the Simple Man Podcast, and we are excited to announce that we have partnered with X Marshall. X Marshall makes some of the best quality gear out there. They even make custom gear so you can express yourself in your way. No designs are off limits. X Marshall even made our very own Simple Man Rash Guards on sale today. So head on over to X Marshall and save 15% off when you use the code SIMPLEMAN all caps. Bro, you're competing. Yeah, October 10th, UFC Fight Pass. I will submit my opponent, and I will love every bit of it. Fuck yeah. Yeah, who you're fighting? Me? Uh, I'm just myself. I knew it. It's always just... It's always just, I mean, there's going to be somebody else on the mat, uh, you know, in front of me, uh, underneath me. But that doesn't Getting matter. submitted by me. Um, but who that is is irrelevant. It's just a thing that I'm going to have to do. A, show, a, move, a showcase of movements and display of techniques that I'll be displaying to the UFC Fight Pass audience. For those that don't know what he said, it it is uh, Michael Pixley. Yeah. Is that his name, Michael Pixley? Michael the Pixie. Pixie Pixley. I respect all people, all opponents, <clears throat> and I'm friendly with everybody, um, but I have a job to do, and I shall do my Good job. shit. Fuck yeah. yeah I'll I'm be heading out that. there fucking cornering you. Oh, for yeah. Shizzle. I'll go out there, spar at Syndicate for a little bit beforehand. Yeah. <clears throat> He's going to be you and Jay out there. Bring, Sick. bring the monies. Are you going to spar with the champ? If he's out there, yeah, probably spar oh, yeah. Rob. with Mirab. I, there. I imagine him not stop training. He he honestly trains like all the time. All the time, right? Yeah. yeah. Just infinite energy, that guy. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, you guys keep going with the podcast for a bit then. You I got, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go for the, for the lady. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Um, what else did we want to talk about? Guys, uh, we just released the Simple Man Rash Guards. So. Check out Simple Man Rash Guards. Where is it again? Uh, yeah, you can find the Simple Man Rash Guards uh, at Shop Shop BT Merch, wherever the BT Merch is found. Uh, in all, in my in my Instagram, the links in my bio, BT Merch. Go on the BT Jiu Jitsu Instagram, links in the bio. But Shop BT Merch, you can find Simple Man Rash Guards on there. And um, you know, thank you for the support. High quality Rash Guards um, for a high quality audi audience. You're training Jiu Jitsu. You want to look fly. You want simple to support the Simple Man. Thank you. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to head out to the lady. You guys continue, please. And later, later, All Gator. Right. We losing Damien. All right, now now the real important stuff yeah. is gonna get now discussed. Now the big, dis the real discussions. That's a good. That's a good man right there. Good man, good man. Ugh. I'm gonna do some uh, slapping. Oh yeah, do some soon. combat. Yeah, be nice, get a knockout. Dude, the nicest. I want to do what uh, Seaman Hands did. Yeah, you're you know? standing. 
Uh, with guys like XO, XR, Ashkar, like right? Ashi standing uh, outside Ashi. Ashi. Well, boom. Fucking Put him KO. out. Yeah. Aiming for the jaw. Aim for the jaw. Protect your wrist. I wonder if it'd be a good idea to tape your wrist up. Maybe not for overtime. To like stiffen up your hand. Yeah. For, so you could take. You could give more. Maybe. <clears throat> and then right before overtime, just un. un- just like it. tape rocks onto your palms. Ooh. Cement. Not bad. Not bad. Did you see that knockout recently? Uh, Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Boxer? yeah. Anthony yeah. Joshua got knocked out. Got knocked yeah. out, man. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought he was like super dominant, but. he. I think he is. I think he just got, just got, got maybe caught. overconfident, got called, because it looked like he was piecing the guy up a little bit. It looked bit. like he was piecing him yeah. up. He was walking forward a little too aggressively. Yeah. And I watch I watch some boxing here and there. I feel like more clips though, but um, yeah. I see like um, uh, Canelo fought recently, dominated his uh, his opponent as well. Canelo's been winning for years. Man. Yeah, it's crazy. It was like Floyd Mayweather fought Canelo when Canelo was like on the rise. He beat him, and then like now that Canelo's where he's at, I don't know if I don't know if Floyd in his prime could beat Canelo. Could be Canelo. In, Were they in his are they prime. the same weight? I feel they like- were the same weight. I think Canelo's bigger now. Canelo's bigger now, but yeah. they were the same weight. They were the same weight, yeah. Damn. Bro, it, those it, guys must <clears> hit <throat> so fucking hard. I w- like if you can hit that hard and grapple the way we grapple, you'd be oh, just yeah. a fucking monster, man. It would be. Dude, I want. I wonder. Like, we have this uh, the UFC fights coming up. It's going to be Roundtree versus uh, Pajera. Like, I oh, wonder. If, I wonder if Roundtree is going to just try to stand or or take him down. He's got to try just. Sp- like try to wrestle fuck him. I feel I like no one's really done that yet. I know, you know? nobody's done it yet. And like, it's like I, th- I feel like some Why people are not? too overconfident. Like I think Roundtree is a great, well-rounded fighter. Yeah. But if I was in his shoes, granted, I'm I'm grappling heavy. I mean, you're taking that guy down. You're talking about the, like Dude, maybe the want, best, one of him. the best kickboxers ever. Yeah, in the and, world. In the world, yeah, and yeah. fucking. Don't strike with him. Like, learn from the mistake that this guy made. Um, <clears throat> who's the name? Jamal? Jamal Hill made. Yeah. yeah, learn from that mistake. You know, I think Buckley's going to do well. Buckley's Buckley's fighting. Buckley uh, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Buckley's got a good work ethic. He was here for a while, right? Yeah, he was here for like maybe two, three weeks, something like that. Fucking yeah. sick. Training with us. Uh, t- taught him, I taught him <clears throat> like the me- real good finishing mechanics of really get choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like nice to see him like squeeze. squeeze oh, the face, epic. You know? Is he coming back at all before the fight? No, because the fight's in like two weeks. Oh, okay, so he's like sharpening it up right now. That's sick. With his peoples, um, he told me that he was at one time training outside. I was like, "What do you mean?" What he was like, "Yeah, like I didn't have a gym. I just had one training partner slash coach, and we just trained with each other outside." And I did I that for the picture that so easily yeah. with this guy. He was like, Yeah, I did that for like the first like five fights in the UFC. Insane. I was like, brother, what? Insane. <laughs> like, that's crazy. And he was like, he was still in great shape. He was yeah. like well rounded and tough, tough That's as, a natural fucking fighter natural right fighter. there. Instinct. Yeah, yeah, instinct. Yeah. Now he's getting his technique is meeting instincts. So yeah. it's like it's impressive. It's going super sane. Yeah. Were you ever gonna fight? I'm coach. Coach, Coach Rod. But like, were you ever gonna gonna? Uh, yeah, I think when I first know? started jujitsu, I thought I was doing it to fight. Yeah, and then I found out you can make money doing jujitsu. I was the like, same oh, same thing with me. I was yeah. like, oh, I could get paid doing this. I'm gonna fucking yeah, yeah. yeah. And I now did. look at you, boom. Yeah, no, we, we made a million bucks in a weekend a couple weeks ago. You know, see you guys time. around to stay, man. It's yep, Fuck. yep. I want to know the weight classes though. I want to know the weight classes too. Step past the kid. <laughs> come I on. Know. I know. What did he say? Did he say on the when he was here? Or no, he I'm gonna shoot him a text like, "Yo, what's up with this yeah, heavyweight weight uh, class, boy?" Deal. Let me start my weight cut if I have to. I'm trying to get in that. I think I said it already. The uh, so yeah, I got the you got the UFC fight pass. I'm, yeah. I got the combat slap jiu jitsu in in Cancun in December, and then uh, hopefully there's a 100k tournament in uh, uh, March, Sapatero. That'll be yeah, so sick. sick. I dreamt I was competing on that recently. I yeah. don't know why. I just I dreamt that I was in it. It's you ever funny. say to yourself, you, you ever do positive affirm- affirmations out loud? Yeah. Like verbally? Like yeah. I am going to blank. Sometimes I sing it. You sing it? Yeah. I, yeah. I sing I sing to, do you ever sing in the car to songs? To uh, like occasionally. The radio and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I was saying, yeah. Fuck yeah. I got a good voice. Yeah, bro. <laughs> to myself, I yeah. guess. <laughs> <laughs> to my, if I'm alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't know. You guys will never know. <laughs> never. <laughs> We're going to put hidden cameras in your car. I would hate that. Yeah, it would be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> my girl, like, tried to record me singing sometimes, like, 
I'll fucking. You got some vibrato? Some, vibrato? Vibrato? What is that? You know, you know what vibrato is? Is that vibrations of the throat? Yeah, the oh. Oof. Nah. Nah. More of a. More of a I steady. Get, I got. I got a good. I could get a good rhythm going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, but the high. I just. I sing the way I talk. Yeah. 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 Poetry. Smooth. Yeah. I'm a poet. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> Nicky Rod is here to kill you. <laughs> hey, there you go. Fuck yeah. Come when on. you fly out to uh, Vegas. So I'm actually going to, on October 4th, I go to Salt Lake City to watch the UFC fights, do some media. Oh, shit, sick. Yeah, uh, J-Rod's going to go with me. We're going to do some media stuff. It's like a, a week out. Yeah, pretty much a week yeah. out. So uh, I also teach a seminar out there. For those of you that watch and teach yeah. a seminar, Salt Lake City, Utah, October 5th, 10 a.m. at Crown BJJ. You got to reserve your spot. Click the link in my bio to reserve your spot for that seminar. And, um, and then besides that... Yeah, just so teach seminar, train a little bit while I'm out there, and then yeah, prep for competition. So I go out like a week before my last hard training session will be like be like Friday, at B then, team. Friday at B team, yeah. and then Saturday Saturday I'll train Sunday chill. Um, Friday probably Monday Tuesday have pretty hard training session then. Wednesday. Uh, Where are you probably, gonna train out there, Syndicate or? Some... I probably just go to the UFC. Uh, oh, Apex. Not the Apex, but oh, the uh, PI. PI, PI. Yeah, I keep forgetting I, yeah. the different things. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. just train with J Rod there because he's a pretty good style for uh, yeah. for, for Pixley, yeah, the wrestler for the opponent and yeah, yeah. and Jay's a dog. I mean, Jay's, Jay's gonna so be so, good. so fucking good. I'm yeah. excited. He's getting back soon, right? Yeah, yeah. I think he gets back like in like eight days or something. Dude, he yeah. gets back yes. a day after I go to Montreal. Oh, so really? I'm gonna fucking. Yes, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm going to Montreal. I'm teaching a seminar, TriStar, and then uh, fucking. Yeah, I want to do a Canada day. tour one day, bro. You should. Like, you, you there's a lot me. of driving in between, right? Because it's massive country, it's enormous, but enormous. I want I want to do because it it's, it's such a beautiful. It's uh, it's country. way less like uh, touched than yeah. America is. I think. Yeah, 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 way less touched. Way less touched. Yeah, you know, way less violated. Unlike yeah. the Christians. Yeah, <laughs> America has been raped. It has yeah. been, yeah. and until you go to the Midwest and you're like, "Wow, this is this is what it should this look is like. life." Yeah, yeah, it's like all the major cities. It like pollutes your vision of what the America is. Yeah, like you, you go to New York, you go to L.A., you're like, "What it's is like this?" Buildings place? and gas stations yeah. and parking lots and yeah. highways and shit. But like out here, like I'm like 20 minutes outside Austin, and it's, it's really nice. It's nice. It's chill. Yeah. Every day I see cows. You got chickens, deer. You see cows around. out here? Oh, on the oh, drive, yeah, on the, right? on the drive. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You got deer walking in and out the property. It's like it's a good time. That's that's, that's awesome. America, not the Bro, inner city. Montreal is so sick. Like the city itself is, you know, it's built up, it's developed, obviously, but like all around is so beautiful, bro. You go a little bit north. It's fucking, it's like that, man. It's farms everywhere. You guys have some of the most beautiful nature in the world. For real. Ice blue glacier water. It's so sick. It's amazing. It goes up to the North Pole. Yeah. It goes all the way up. Dude, Banff was the prettiest place I've ever seen in my life. It was gorgeous. Kelowna also very beautiful. Vancouver, dude. That whole, the West Coast there is fucking gorgeous, man. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm teaching a seminar, TriStar, uh, September 28th, 12 p.m., TriStar fucking where it all began for me, the home gym. And then yeah. uh, the next weekend, October 5th, Royal Jiu-Jitsu in Quebec. We'll see you there. Nice. Fuck yeah. It's going to be good. So, Quebec City. Quebec, Quebec City. City. And it's like you drive up north and it's like where the or the OG French came from. you going to drive Europe. there or you going to fly there? I drive there. Drive there. Yeah, yeah. It's like a two and a half. Oh. Two and a half. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. I've been... Um, I've been arguing with car salesmen trying to get an insane deal on a Raptor R, mainly oh, just because no. I don't want to buy it. Oh no! Like I, like I want. I, obviously, I want it, but we're supposed to talk you out of this, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Just <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna. Do it. But yeah. I, I do. I do argue with the sales people, or more than like negotiate because it's fun for me. Yeah. I like to see them. You like, go there and negotiate for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is fun for me. That's yeah. fucking amazing. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'll negotiate with them just just for pure entertainment purposes. Good. Because sometimes, like sometimes they they'll just give you an insane deal, and then you still like it's you're not, still you're like, like it's not no, good enough. I want yeah. it for free. Yeah, yeah. They're like fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah. What are you wasting my time? <laughs> yeah. So that's fun Damn, for me. That's but sick. Yeah. I just I just not gonna do it. I need I need multiple millions yeah. to buy like to do an irresponsible to make it reasonable purchase. to make yeah. such an irresponsible purchase. 
yeah not that irresponsible yeah like once my jerky plant is up and running and that's and we're we're selling good like then i'll fuck i'll, I'll you're buy closer something to dumb. getting into gas stations honestly i'm like at a standstill right now until i build this warehouse so like i'm in i'm under contract to close on this this uh this unimproved land and once i get that i'll build a jerky facility and then i'll be able to really make the jerky in mass quantities and then i'll be able to distribute the issue now is you don't have production enough production Hmm. so do you is it being made right now but it's just not enough it's being made but we only make what we can sell Oh, wow. we, well, only, so yeah, you're exactly. selling, you're selling. We sell, we sell a lot constantly. That's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. But the, but the real problem is the, is the production. Like, let's huh. say we sell like, like $8,000 in product a month. Um, but we can only, we're maxed out at making you're that just, much. You can only make that, that much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. So, fuck. So I don't even like, I don't advertise too much, uh, because of that. But once it's up and running, I'll be making, I'll, I'll blow, I'll blow it up. I'll have Man. like, I'll pay, I'll pay for, uh, Facebook, Instagram ads. And so stuff. it's a good product already. Cause oh, it's, it's a great fucking product. fucking selling out. So you have proof that it's like. Yeah, people, and we have a tons of return buyers as well. People absolutely tons of it. returns. Everyone's returning. <laughs> That's how much they like. <laughs> yeah, no return no, buyers. Return are, yeah, 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 return yeah. customers. Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's good. That's the retirement plan, the jerky. And uh, I'm like, I'm going to be the McGregor of the jerky empire, bro. Yeah. yeah. How how McGregor made billions off of his made proper more 12. Whiskey, right? More proper in 12. whiskey, bro. I'm going to make it's crazy billions in selling jerky. That's fucking amazing. I want to see yeah. it. Then we get, you guys will be chilling on my fucking Lamborghini yacht. Made, made of jerky. Made yeah, of jerky, yeah. jerky yacht. Fuck yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fuck around on that land too. You like yeah. go shooting? Yeah, we'll go shooting. Yeah. Maybe I get some like ATVs or something. We have some yeah. fun. Maybe put Build you on some a, ramps. Yeah, put you yeah. some shoulder pads on you and a helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like full like a bubble suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like, safe. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's a, it'll be it'll be a good time. Yeah, I don't think I ever fully recovered from that little tiny. Motorcycle. I don't think you <laughs> ever do. When you get <laughs> fucked up like that, it's like bro, it sucked. Oh my god, yeah, my yeah. right arm was brutalized yeah, for like yeah. months yeah <laughs> it was terrible man yeah, yeah. i i fell i fell directly on, on my shoulder before like like your ac gets fucked up your shoulder yeah, yeah it's not no good Dude, terrible You're lopsided for months yeah i was walking around like a goblin for yeah. fucking <laughs> the <laughs> remainder of my time in puerto rico <laughs> it was terrible Dude, how dumb did you feel after that too because you're like it's just a child's Bro, toy i didn't want to tell fun. anyone <laughs> i didn't want to tell anyone yeah. that was that was a funny pe- were you in Puerto Rico at that time, or I think yeah, you would, I think you cra- I w- like you crashed when I was like at the house or something. Oh my! Like God, I had like so the funny. I had like the pedal electric bike, and you had like the you were on like the dirt bike. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. You came back, and you're like, I think I have a problem. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm hurt. I, I hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, I hurt myself. I did, yeah. Dude, I played it down so much. I was yeah. like, I'm just gonna like nap and recover. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, if I just sleep for as long as possible, I will regrow. <laughs> um, Dude. Bro, that was a funny period. We were living at Moe's house for like two months straight. Me, yeah. Liam, and Isaac. Yeah, Isaac was there, yeah. And Nikki hurt his knee, so he went to Florida. And, uh, oh, bro. That the was funniest a- part like about you getting injured was obviously not good you got injured, but yeah. there's multi-millionaires playing golf on this golf course and you guys are just sending it on electric dirt bikes across they're so this. obnoxiously loud oh dude. yeah they're like oh, yeah. little fucking lowers. it's man. like these guys have 50 million dollar mansions yeah. and you're just tearing up their and fucking I'm grass like broke as fuck on someone else's dirt bike <laughs> just <laughs> right. shredding up the fucking yeah. turf behind me doing donuts and yeah. then i crash and fuck up my shoulder and have to like waddle yeah. home like Dude, the beach there was so beautiful it was too. Because it's like you don't even they don't even like there's no shells or nothing. They clean it, keep the beach like completely They're pristine, pr- yeah. absolutely pristine. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep it pristine from poor people too. Yeah, like, fucking, <laughs> yeah. I, they barely let me on that thing, man. They're yeah. fucking no, it was hard so into. so insanely nice. Yeah, that definitely fucked up my remainder of my time in Puerto Rico. But other otherwise, it was still sick. Yeah, that was, it was a good still time. sick. That last little bit there. Your brother got some money stolen. Remember that? My what? Your brother got some money stolen. Remember that? Oh my god! Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, leave, we'll, we'll let it be. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. It was payment for the time there. Let's yeah, just chalk yeah. it up to. <laughs> yeah. It was a very very cheap Airbnb for two months straight. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll, yeah, it was uh, whatever. It's fucking funny. I went back there uh, not long ago, like fuck, it. I think like a year ago. We stayed for like uh, a week, two weeks or something. Any plans to go back again? I could. It's it's so fun. It's like just yeah. pure vacation. It's a super short flight, but like I feel like I'd rather like I'd rather go to Hawaii or something. Or I'd rather kind of go to a new a new place. Hawaii like, with the boys. Bro. Hawaii with the boys, bro. Yeah. That trip, bro. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, us and us and Damien and Jay. Yeah, we got like a big house with AC in the bedroom. With AC, hopefully. right? It was honestly it. It was hard the first you, night. Like fuck that. Bro, we're oh professional athletes. We need fucking AC, dude. You see how much I sweat in a fucking oh, yeah. AC'd home. You need an IV to sleep out there, bro. Yeah, I need like an ice plunge to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking over. Here. What do you keep your bedroom at? All right. I mean, right now, because I have a child, oh, I yeah. do 66 and okay. I give him I give him like a onesie, like where he's completely covered up and yeah, then yeah. two blankets. To, so he's he's like he's pretty yeah. warm. Um, but I would do 64 um, every night before the before the child. Before and the that child. was perfect. Like I'd be like shivering right before bed and then boom, I'm out. Oh. I need to I need to be really cold. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And for sure. even now with, with it being 66, I pretty much. Sleep, I go I sleep butt ass naked No covers I cannot yeah, yeah I go no covers Until I get too cold And I put a cover yep. on Then I go fall asleep You need to Lower your core temperature Something like Two degrees To actually Fall into sleep I yeah. think Something like that Unless I'm butchering it but You keep it cold 57 57 57 yeah Does it get down to 57 though I don't know But like it was, It's at that I try Honestly Like yeah. well, actually I think it I think it gets close because I I notice it if it's like fifty eight. Like I'll yeah. try it. Like some nights I'm like, come on, you're being ridiculous. Like <laughs> crank <laughs> it up a bit. And later that night I'm like, it's too hot. Or maybe it's in my head. I don't know. No, nah, bro, it's got to be cold. It's got to be cold. Yeah. In Montreal, growing up, I would crack the. My parents f- fucking yelled at me for this. I would crack the window in the dead of winter, ah. and it's like you can't. Dude, because the whole house will get cold. Yeah, really. Even I would have to like stuff blankets under the door to like insulate my room because oh, they get pissed. They're like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah, <laughs> the heating bill is insane. You know, my and, dude, uh, my parents yeah. would would be all the time. Our whole house always fucking hot. It's I would the worst. be like, even in the summer, they would, they wouldn't put this AC on. Barely put the AC on. And I'm like, I'm like, it can't be that expensive to cool this fucking house out. Yeah. The mo- the first thing I did when I moved out, every day. AC blasted. Yes. I'll I'll fucking I don't care what the bill costs. I'm going to be comfort. I'm it's like the things we're deprived of as kids. We like as soon as we could do it ourselves, we're like I'm fucking doing this. It has to be done. Yeah, it has to be done. Man. I would definitely do that though in, in the winter, yeah. uh crack the window. It's bro. the best. And like the fresh winter air, it's like crisp mm-hmm. like you, I could see my breath when I would sleep. I remember go oh, and you see the breath. I had great like, sleeps oh, too. The best, bro. Yeah. I feel like waking up having to wake up early. You have to wake up early for school growing up. Yeah, it's terrible. Bro, terrible. I feel like it fucked me up permanently. Like just, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you still get up early though. I that's why I'm saying I think it fucked yeah. me up permanently. Like I can't sleep in ever. How, how late do you? What what time do you wake up nowadays? Wake up, dude. For the past like four days, I've been waking up at like six a.m. for no reason. No, no, for no. This reason. can't be real, dude. I wake up at like six, six, six fifteen, and then I try and go back to sleep until like. 7 15 i'm like all right i may as well fucking wake up and so yeah. si- like 6 6 15 6 or you're up, up for your day for my whole day yeah yeah I've it's so nothing. much it's so long before practice dude i know you're like what you need to you need to get on morning you don't do morning session right no i i because then i'm gonna be fucking shot for yeah. the next one I'm like, <laughs> yeah i don't know i've been going for walks you ever yeah. do that yeah i do walk every day I, yeah, yeah. I go with the, I go for a walk like nine o'clock. Something. That's I have been about, since yeah. the baby. I have been getting up. Like I've been waking up like eight to nine ish, which is, is that earlier. That's earlier for oh, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah before yeah. I would just wake up right before practice. Yeah. I'd get up at like fucking roll out of bed at like eleven. Bro, I wish, I wish. Yeah. You eat when you do that? When I right before practice? Yeah, I, yeah. When um, you, if you wake up at eleven. No, nah, oh yeah, I'll, I'll grab some blueberries or something yeah, like that, some, something like. But I was fasting for quite a while. But I think for a performance, we need some sugars. I really wonder what the best, like, approach that is, because I find like on days where I eat like a very light breakfast at the right time or mm-hmm. something, 
then I'm like, I could go forever. I don't get like shaky at the end. Mm. And I like, I feel like not, I don't know, depleted, but for me, I really I need know, like what works for me good is an intro workout. Like, yeah, like honestly, like, like that, a liquid yeah. IV, like a, some sugar, some salt, you need sugar. You're saying, yeah, yeah. Some sugar, some salt, yeah. some salt, like mid, mid workout or like in a, in a recovery round, like maybe I just did 25 minutes yeah. and I'm taking 10 minute to recover. Like some sugar there is is great for me. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually start doing this. I got uh, I just wanted I wanted to try to like look into it and like yeah they all fucking do it like all the yeah big football teams basketball teams like they all have sugar salt sugar and electrolytes and shit like bro I was watching work I was out, watching like so. the CrossFit guys because yeah I'm intrigued by CrossFitters just because it's such a dynamic sport like similar yeah very similar like yeah. in in movements and what you like. How you're performing? It's not endurance. It's not sprint. It's like a mix of both. It's a mix of both, yeah. and I like that they don't know exactly what they're gonna do when they show up to a competition. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. so it's completely surprised. So I have to be prepared for everything. I remember one, one, uh, one workout. It was like a you have to row like a fucking you have to row a marathon right and these guys were eating snicker bars while they're doing it because they're burning so many calories so they're rowing and they're like they have snickers like like unpacked already and like when they get to a certain time limit they smash they're smashing they're just smashing yeah. snickers some snickers you have the gatorades and stuff how like that. long does it take them to do that i mean i think it was like two hours holy fuck constant row yeah something like that could be longer, but you're gonna start smashing Snickers like mid mid round. <laughs> no, not mid, not mid round, but because it's only it's like 15 minute match, it's shorter, you know? yeah. But yeah. like for a 40 minute, uh, for a 40 minute final or if something, like, final it would be it would be yeah. I would need to have some kind of long carb before going in. Like I'd probably have like a, some bites of a bagel or maybe some fats yeah. as well, bagel peanut butter, and then some uh, and then a little bit of fruit and a whole lot of honey, and then go yeah, out yeah, go yeah. out there. And then if there's any like injury time or something or blood time or whatever, I would try to smash some sugar. Yeah, I would smash have I would have like a condensed Gatorade drink r right oh, next yeah, to me. Yeah, you do the powder, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For co for competition, I still I still do the powder. Um, but I was, the problem I had is I was doing it for practice, but yeah. now I'm getting like a thousand milligrams of sugar mid practice. I'm like, this is not this good is for not me. Not healthy. No, 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 this no. Is a point where it stops being performance and yeah, stops yeah. being like, starts being like fucking detrimental. Yeah. Like my, I think I had blood work while I was doing that and they're like, your insulin is like, <laughs> you're pre-diabetic. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. terrible. I Did like, you I think I know what's going on. Shit checked again after. Was it better? I'm actually scheduled to get it. Uh, I'm probably gonna go like tomorrow. Oh to no get, way! To get blood work. Yeah. Merrick Health. Merrick Health. Hook Fuck me yeah. up. Yeah. Shout out Merrick Health. Shout out Merrick Health. Go. You know they got the best blood work. Uh, they, anything you got. If you're looking to optimize your health in any way, hit up Merrick Health. You can use code Simple Man for a uh, for a hefty discount and just enjoy longevity, enjoy health and happiness and prosperity. Like us. Like us. We're there prospering. Yeah. So I'm getting my blood work done. Um, Damn, yeah. that's a big. All right. When's the last time you had your blood work done? I mean, it's been six months, maybe. Six months. Was it the when like the Derek did the thing, or it was it was slightly after that because I was like, oh, okay, I told him I was like, yeah, hey, I wasn't fasting during this because I know it was for yeah, uh, yeah. like uh, testosterone or whatever. Yeah, and so I did a fasting one, and it was like, all right, it's a little bit better, but still, but like, still, fucking yeah, more like the cholesterol and stuff like that. Yeah, like yeah. My, my like uh, my insulin was fine, and and uh, other other markers were fine, but yeah, more like the cholesterol, but like. Uh, what is cholesterol? Like I eat yeah. clean whole foods. Like they he they mentioned that it was like some kind of uh, genetic predisposition for the high cholesterol. I know my dad has high cholesterol. My dad's dad yeah. has high cholesterol. Uh, I mean, like it is what it is. My blood pressure is good. I'm healthy. Train every day. I eat clean. Like, I think there's a point where it's like you can't nitpick that much. If you're I'm not like go you said, medication. Like, you no, know what I mean, like, fuck I'm fucking that, good, bro. dude. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, we're performing fine. We're healthy. I'm yeah. performing. The best ever. Literally I'm the best. So you're fucking fine. Don't yeah. keep eating that shit. Bro, I've, I think I've been having like more ribeye in the past like four months than I have my whole life. It's I almost like every, it's it's the fucking best. And nowadays I'm enjoying the fat more. Yes. Like before I, I feel like I used to like, ah, I'm not going to eat the fat. Bro, but now it's just like the, the most flavorful fucking, part. Oh, it's amazing. You ever uh, like e cook the fat extra, like oh, slice like it off it. and like sear it? Bro, sometimes it I'll- Melts in your mouth, bro. Dude, oh sometimes I would- I would 
cut a little bit of fat off of the ribeye, put it in a steel pan to get like get it gooey. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. Cook cook the steak and then finish. I'd eat the rest of the yeah. fat, the seared fat. Oh my god! Beautiful. It's insanely good. I used to think that's like oh the fat, like, especially when I was a kid. I'm like oh I don't want the fat. Like no. you don't want to eat the fat. That's nutrient. Dense. It is the best fucking po- like. Uh, I don't air fry. I don't have an air fryer anymore, but I have like an, a version of it. Yeah. Cut the fat, air fry it. What do you oh What do you mean you have God. a version of it? Okay. Instead of the Teflon coated cancerous fucking trash, yeah. throw that out. Fuck that. Okay. Get a ninja. A ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Get a ninja. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's a ninja something. It's, it's another an air version. Fryer? It's like a toaster oven. Uh huh. So it's like it's like a toaster with a tiny little fan. No. Carcinogenics. Oh, this no have a, a, a clear yeah. glass in glass, front. Okay, glass wall know, with yeah. a little thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's safe. It's been proven. Yeah. And uh, yeah, dude. Next time you cook a ribeye, take a little chunk of fat, uh-huh. throw it in there, oh sear it up. Oh my god, it's insane. That's good stuff. It's like it melts. Like it like crumbles into just pure flavor. Amazing. You eat much chicken? Yeah, but only because I'm like I'm like okay, I can't eat ribeye for every meal. So I yeah, Central Market chicken, you know. Yeah, I'll get like a rotisserie. Yeah, dude, rotisserie. it's cheaper to buy a rotisserie chicken than it is to buy a raw chicken. Yep, and also it's a pain in the ass to cook and fucking yeah. do all. It's just get the chicken last you I don't know a day and a half ish. It's like one meal. It's one meal. It's for like you. one and a half yeah. for me. I try and mix it. I try and go like protein, carb, fiber, vegetable. When I get a rotisserie chicken from Central Market, this is what I do. I go yeah. pull up. I go talk, talk to my guy, Jose. Like, Jose, you got a uh, right lemon pepper chicken? He's and like, yeah, bro. I am from yeah. here. I speak English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Jose hooks me up with lemon pepper chicken. And then... Lemon pepper is the best. Yeah. One, yeah. And then I, I get, get some olives. Yeah. Stuffed with garlic. Stuff with garlic, all right. I'll get a sourdough bread, and yeah. then I've seen this. I've seen this. And yes. then I'll get the peppers with like some kind of like meat and cheese. Yeah, it's like a ham, like a prosciutto yeah. wrap thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah. get those right. Yeah. So then I go to the car. I eat like pretty much the, both the breasts and like maybe both the wings. Yeah. And then uh, actually, I'll eat all this first because I'm like, oh, fiber and yeah, yeah, slow down healthy fats, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. eat a bunch of olives. Then I'll eat the chicken. And then I'll take, then I'll, I'll rip off like a hand sized chunk of the corner of the the sourdough, the sourdough. Yeah. And then I'll split it open. I'll peel, I'll pull some of the guts out, <laughs> and I'll stuff it with the peppers. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I'll eat that sandwich. I've seen this. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll I'll eat the rest of the like fluff from the sandwich while with I'm with that as well. Yeah. yeah. It's a fucking. That's it's a, a meal. That's a fucking masterpiece, right? There. I enjoy the combination. That's of high that. performance. Yeah, like the salt, the fluffiness of the bread the sourdough you get a bunch yeah. of the, i like textures that's why yeah, i like yeah. korean barbecue so much heterogeneity different different textures different heterogeneity textures. yeah yeah like that's what makes a good meal that's why i like the korean barbecues because we have yeah. you have the meats you have the you have the cucumber kimchi crunchy you have the regular kimchi you have the white rice you got the different sauces like in different, different meats size. the fucking this the that it's a great way Amazing. to explore the, the taste Amazing. buds that was a sick what did we do before korean barbecue was it workout? I don't know. Did we work podcast out? maybe? No. No, we were we were somewhere we were together else. all day. For yeah. What did we do that day? I know. I know it was the day of the fights. It was Saturday. It was that day. It was it was after after cream barbecue? Oh, oh, we went. No, we went to the uh, the pool and we worked out at That's Damien's right. house. Right. That's right. Why did we go to Damien's house though? To work out. Just to work out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we wanted to go lift somewhere. Yeah. After training? After training, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, so we, we ate separately. Then we linked back up at Damien's house. That's we right. We lifted a little bit, uh, pool, Korean barbecue. Yes. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Bro, I'm telling you, I was just popped back in my head, for your grill, you cook ribeyes on the grill? Yeah. Bro. Well, I do them in the, I do them in the oven to get to temperature, and then I sear them on the grill. Oh, you do like a reverse a reverse sear? Yeah, or do you cook them all on the grill? By the whole thing on the, the grill. Thing, really? And yeah. then you wrap in tinfoil for like eight minutes, let it rest, get like a thick fucking ribeye. Yeah. Dude, get a slab cast iron, uh. like a big rectangle yeah. cast iron. You get so much more surface area to, to crisp sear. up the, the ribeye. Mm. Fucking amazing. I'm you like wouldn't do that on the, on the steel pan? On the steel? I 
I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tried it. I bet you could. I don't know why. I think not. the the only problem I have with cast iron is that the I get some iron ferritin. Fer, my ferritin be high. Me as too. Fuck. High as shit. Does it matter? Is it bad? I don't think it. I don't think it matters. I think it's fucking. When fine. I got my blood work done, they were like your her- ferritin is super high. I think it's supposed to be high because of how much we're using up our red blood cells. Mm. They even told me like you should get blood. You should donate blood. Like ah. Did they tell you that? It's mine. No, yeah. No. They told me. I don't want that. <laughs> it's <laughs> mine. It <laughs> no. <laughs> They're just trying to steal my vitality. Dude, that's so Dude, funny. I fucking heard some crazy shit. I don't know where I heard this, but I'm going to fucking say it anyway. I heard that if you take your own blood, you take it out and you save it for yourself mm-hmm. for when you're like fucking 80. Okay. Your blood now, mm-hmm. what that will do to you when you're 80 will literally make you younger it'll like fucking heal everything in your body really? some shit like that yeah you have to freeze it i don't know probably probably mm. freeze it yeah I'm some shit like that. that i'll just have it's my own vampire blood. stores like, of blood exactly <laughs> fucking <laughs> imagine you're like all right i'm feeling i want to i want to rejuvenate myself yep you know let's fucking, fucking do it. plug in some of your blood from when you're like 30 25 30 oh, feeling at my best right now this was this was million dollar torter in blood i'm gonna fucking it's a, it's a it. real thing it's yeah. fucking it yeah. makes sense dude something You're about it reverse searing your genomes reverse searing <laughs> your alleles <laughs> holy shit Fuck when's man. your brother coming oh dude i think november i think he was talking about november Nice. He was saying actually he was he was gonna come uh, December, but I think because I'm competing, uh, he's like, oh, I'll, I'll come after something. But he's gonna escape whatever. some of the winter, dude. Yeah, he's coming at the best. It's brutal around that time. It starts yeah. to get terrible. Yeah, it's like the only benefit of that is sleeping cold. Yeah, That's, sleeping cold. Yeah. Also, probably play around in the four wheelers. It's too winter, deep of snow. Winter sports. Winter no, sports. you could do it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. You could even like when it starts to cover the city. Yeah. You just take like slow drives. It's like dead quiet because it's like the snow muffles all the sound. Yeah. And around like any corner, you're just going like super slow and you just hit like a slow drift. You're like, oh, <laughs> cool. That was fun. <laughs> my, so, yeah. my first car was a Scion TC and it had the hand e-brake. And oh, anytime yeah. we have slower ice, I'm, I'm ripping it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. Too much fun. Yeah. I almost got fucked up one winter, dude. I was driving some fucking side street trying to get to TriStar and I'm like approaching an intersection at barely any high speed but like when there's ice and snow and slush yeah. you just go fucking straight so uh my thing had a stop sign theirs did not mm-hmm. and i just like i hit the brakes to slow down the car just goes like doesn't even slow just yeah, keeps no, going yeah and i see a car coming i'm like fuck i just hold down the horn as i'm holding down the brake nothing's happening hold down the horn the other guy stops i go through i'm like sorry nice yeah well, that's a smart move good yeah, thing no choice yeah I do yeah. think uh, drivers from the north are better than drivers from the yeah. south, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. because they get to encounter situations that, like that situation with a lot of rain, a lot of snow. They get to yeah. respect the elements, respect the car a little bit more. Because uh, down here in Texas, absolutely the worst driving I've ever seen. Even in Puerto By Rico far. was better than than here. They know what's going on. in Puerto Rico. They'll like it's organized snake chaos. In and out. They know everyone's yeah. like a good driver. Everyone, everyone's careful. Like they give a little honk. You know where you're yeah. at. Here it's fucking mayhem. They're yeah. just reckless. Like, They're like reckless. Yeah. They, don't re- they don't respect the roads. They're driving super fast everywhere. Yeah. Every- They're always like they always in a rush. But but um, fuck it. They're weird. not good at rushing. They're not good at rushing. They're not good at like yeah. actually safely maneuvering through. Ch- they just yeah. like think fast. Good. Yeah. It's insane. I would be on the turnpike in 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 Jersey, heading either north or south, and there'd be a line of like five or six of us going like a hundred plus on the highway but yeah. we're or- we're sitting together we're organized yeah, you know what i mean that we're like we, if we get pulled over getting pulled over together yeah, you so know what unit, I mean? cohesive yeah. unit you don't even know who they are we're fucking working as a team these guys here, out here bro they don't know what's going on i've around. seen the craziest crashes here yeah within within like the first four months of living here i've seen more crashes than everywhere else i it yeah. was it was insane yeah i saw a car flipped over upside down uh-huh. <laughs> with the front axle on the back upside down part of the car That's it was terrible. like 
how does that even <laughs> fucking happen, bro? Is insane. I yeah, insane. I think I've had days where I've seen like uh, like a crash every day for like three or four days. Yeah, and I, I it's twenty miles. I know you're it's not, not that far, that much distance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's pretty wild out here. Insane, so man. Texas drivers, get your get your stuff together. Get your shit together. Respect together, the vehicle. Respect the road. When it rains, I was I'm like guaranteed. There's gonna be chaos on the road it's insane because they don't understand that it's okay yeah it's like it's just drive normally bro yeah. it's take, fucking take fine. your time don't some people around have corners. actually i've said this to someone and they're like yeah but the roads aren't like designed for that it doesn't matter it does it's not like it turns into ice it's no. fine it's a wet road it's okay any wet road you're gonna fucking slide and stuff you can't go a hundred around a bend it's just a little bit different but people yeah. i don't know they yeah. fucking lose you gotta their take minds, your time man. yeah just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code SIMPLEMAN, all caps, for 15% off both of those companies. Massive Supplements, trademarked Smash and Green, Smash and Reds, very nutrient-dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t-shirts, rash guards, you name it, owned by... Former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, you simple man, to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements. Get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. What do you got going on this week? Anything? Uh, I think just get my blood work done. Oh, have, yeah. a, have a few more comp days before comp on uh, yeah. October 10th. And uh, Are you it. ramping up like training and some because you're you're getting close you're like what uh two weeks out uh i've been i've kind of i kind of stayed on the same track same schedule as cji like i uh you know i took like two weeks to just kind of work on technique and stuff and not really go go hard and then like after that it's really start <clears throat> i really started scrapping now um, it's like time to start scrapping more yeah i've been scrapping yeah. i've been scrapping um yeah. Um, for probably, I guess I had like a six week camp for this guy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I've been scrapping like three, four days a week. And then the rest of the day, just kind of like coasting, just coasting, like yeah, doing yeah. technical stuff, really positional rounds, yeah. you know, like, cause the positional round is, is, uh, I feel like not, not as tough as the open round cause the open round really going to push it and, and treat it. There's more movement. You don't keep positional. You get like a little break every time you say, yeah. you get like a little reset, a little yep. reset, a little yep. reset. Yeah. So that's kind of how I break it up. And then obviously yeah. I've been doing the, the comp rounds, like, but I'm treated like Dima, like how we do a comp round recovery comp round. Yeah. You know, so like you're full, you're close to fully recovered, you know, that way yeah. I get the most out of that, that round. I can really like make all the correct decisions as if it's a match. Like you could, yeah. you're going to be at your best for that. So I kind of found it weird that like under John, we would, I feel like we only did that after practice. Like we would roll for like 45 minutes and then we do a 15 minute match. It but doesn't like, equate but to like, how, I just yeah. burned 1500 calories. Yeah. And then I have no t and then I have like five minutes to mentally recover, no calories put back in, and then I'm gonna do a fifteen minute match. It's like I get it, like being able to execute things when you're exhausted, but also being fresh and understanding the feeling of being fresh and then putting that work in like like Yeah. I don't know. It's a different I think uh like Imagine you're you're a sprinter. Like it would not make sense to always train with like I don't know with weights on or like with a parachute. Like yeah. you, you're gonna start to adapt yourself to the the way you run and the way you pace yourself to as if you're always tired. So mm -hmm. it's gonna slow you down. Maybe uh, maybe I'm exaggerating, but like whereas if you you add that in, like let's say for a sprinter's case, like you add in whatever the fuck I don't know if you sprint with like a weighted vest or mm -hmm. a parachute or some shit. Yeah, yeah, that into your routine, but the the actual core training is like you're at your best you're at your full like i'm gonna go you know in what i would wear when i run mm -hmm. at your best so it's like you want to train you want to do a round with as good a guy as you can get mm -hmm. and you're both as fresh as possible so you can actually practice competing practice pacing yourself from full strength to whatever, if you're like, you know, 15 minutes in the match and you have to control what you're like doing. Like training the way, like the exact way you would compete. That's the best. It's like, why why wouldn't yeah. you do that? The right? only reason is if you need to highlight something. So like, let's say, you know, I've gone like, I mean, I'm just speculating. But let's say like, if I'm, if I want to, 
train for a guy who's um, good at leg locks. I need to, sure, I, like I do need to do those rounds where I'm at my best and I'm just mm -hmm. fucking trying to win. But I also need to do some situational leg entanglements. Yeah. And, but that's going to be two separate throughout things. Throughout the week. And I should, yeah, throughout the week. And I shouldn't be like, I shouldn't be tired for the competition match. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't be fully fresh for the leg lock match. Like there, I think it's like you have to supplement everything and balance it accordingly. I don't yeah. Know. I'm yeah, yeah, right, I definitely but. agree. I uh, yeah, so I've just been kind of making my own, own yeah. schedule, and I'll tell my training partners like, "Hey, like take a rest, like rest here, because we're gonna we're gonna scrap the next one." You really, know, you tell you tell the guy you're gonna train like, "Hey, take this round off," and then yeah, we'll go. yeah, oh yeah, fuck, for, that's for sick. sure. Just so they're fresh, you know what I mean. I don't want yeah. those guys to be tired, and I'm like, I'm fresh. Yeah, I they, want you at your best, you yeah. know. Yeah, and then um, yeah, that's yeah, fair. shit like that. Look, yeah, I'll be having fun. Fuck, I I love this shit. It's so much fun. I've been loving. Like, it, I don't want to do anything else. I've been I've been. Loving it more the past like year ish. I think it's because we have such half. a good routine and we have such good people that we train yeah. with. Like it's fun. We fuck we fuck around. We play Spike though. All the banter or is it's great. It's been more fun the past. I don't know what it is. The past like year has been more fun than yeah. the other year. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's been. Spike ball's been so fun, bro. I'm Spike ball, yeah. I'm fucking obsessed, dude. Man. Whoever invented Spike ball, thank you. That a genius. Is thank a great you so game. much. Thank you, Spike ball. Spike yeah. ball. Whoop and. Jiu Jitsu are like it's amazing. Fucking there's a good combo right there. It's you a, know? Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, I'm I'm I find myself like dreaming about spike ball sometimes. <laughs> Dude, I would actually I would dream yeah. of like sequences. I'm like, oh, yes. God, let's think about my practice. Like Dude, I know I'm, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm like I get guilty. I'm like, no, no, no. Think about the arm drag or the fucking <laughs> yeah. the this or the that or something. I'm like, no, you have to do this for a living, you yeah. fucking idiot. Don't fucking <laughs> think about spike ball. And then I, part of me is like, fuck, should we enter like a spike ball tournament? Dude, I think about that all the time. Yeah. Smoke people. They're, dude. they're really good though, I think. But are they high? Like, are they eating ribeyes for dinner? Yeah, you know they're what fucking I mean? pussies. Dude, they're yeah. vegans, Dude, idiots, stupid. We could probably we could beat them. You know who was good though? The uh, Jason Nolf and uh, Gino. Bro, okay, we, we got we could beat yeah. them this time. <laughs> We could beat them this time. We they were the, really good, though, right? We won the first game, and then they they like made some adjustment. They fucking smoked us two in a row. I was like, Shit. "Oh, we woke up the dragon, dude!" Shit. They adjust. They're yeah. like, "All right, bro, turn it up." We'll dude. fucking. We should invite them back just for a spike ball. Oh, they Re so, dude, the wrestling we're secondary, gonna, we're but let's spike them. ball. We're gonna beat them right? this Jason's time, in town. I think. I think he moves. Here. Oh, that's true, yeah. dude. Jason Nolf, man, is he? In town, in town. I'm pretty sure he's in Austin. Yeah, bro, we gotta have him on the podcast, man. Have yeah. they been? On, on the pod, you? almost. It they very got. Close. They went to another address. They went to, yeah, same address, oh. different zip code. Oh, yeah. Let's just like, set the podcast up there this time, yeah, so yeah. we meet them there. But yeah. uh, bro, it'd be so sick. Hit him and Gino. Yeah, yeah. We should get him on for sure. Yeah, I think Gino just knocked, or just like submitted his guy. He just fought a couple of days oh, ago. Oh, congrats! Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he's training. I think he's training with Wonder Boy. Oh, uh, sick. Like, yeah, where he, in uh, Maryland? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he was in like Houston for a while. He was training in Maryland. Nice. Yeah. Are they both moving down here or just... I think Nolf? just Jason is moving here with okay. his business partner to open up a a wrestling... Um, Athlete's Ocean thing? Or? To do Athlete's Ocean and also to open up a wrestling like club for the youth. Sick. Yeah, which I and the youth, I'm going to go. Dude, I want to go. I'm, yeah, am I'm I young down. enough? <laughs> Let right? me go. I'm fucking, That'd be sick. I'll wear like a propeller hat. I'll be like, teach me to wrestle. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, bro. I'll wear your shoes. Uh, I mean, dude, I'm fucking down to go to that. Yeah, I'm down to, sick. to learn, bro. Um, Take that knowledge in. And then beat them at spike ball. Let's just show up to that with spike ball. Spike ball after dude, practice, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, J Dog, bro. Me J -Dog. and J Dog. He's good. J Dog's good. J Dog's so good. Yeah, he's good. he's athletic. He's insane. Every play, he's like completely horizontal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Psh, psh, psh. Sick. yeah. He gets after it. Yeah, I think Jay's catching the bug as well. Dude, Jay's get. He got good. Yeah, got yeah, good. He got good. He's got Before, a like a he weird like, style. He's like, yeah. I don't want to do it, and then he ends up loving it. Yeah, he's like, he got, he got totally obsessed. Is. He's like, all right, I'm gonna get good, yeah. dude. That one day we played me, you, Damian, J Rod. Uh -huh. He that was it. That was like, oh, he's like, all right, I got to get good. Yeah, With yeah. the fucking wraparound shades. Yeah, he's yeah. like, come on, let's go. Yeah, it's such a good game. It's fucking awesome, man. What all else right. we got going on, bro? Hey, we wrapped this up. It's been an hour or some we change. We Look at yeah. that. Yeah. All right, gentlemen yeah. and, and ladies. Um, <laughs> reminder, to, uh, lady. reminder to purchase the Simple Man Rash Cards at uh, Shop BT Merch. Wherever the BT Merch is found, you can find the Simple Man Rash Card. Um, 
Massive supplements. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys are looking looking to optimize your health, um, you need you need vegetables. You need reds smashing, and greens. Yep, smashing reds, smashing greens. Dude, the reds. I think that's the secret to my two hundred four heart rate. I, I swear. I think it is. Like, I think you're probably right. So for those yeah. of you that haven't heard, we did a really tough workout, um, and this guy hit all time maximum heart rate of two hundred four, two hundred five. Two or yeah, two or five, two or five. No, two or five. Two or five. <laughs> so two or four heart uh, maximum heart rate, which is super high. He didn't think he had it in him, but um, now but I it's know. probably because that vasodilator. That's it. Being the smashing reds, the beetroot powder. Yeah. So you guys need powder, to. Man. This is what you do: 30, 40 minutes before a workout, smash the smashing reds, uh, and see how good, how great you feel when you're vasodilating. Get yourself a nice heart attack, recover, get some good <laughs> cardio. Fucking beat your friends and spike ball, smash those reds. Yep. And then for dinner, smash the greens with your, you know, your the rest of your meal. Massive supplements, man. Hit Indeed. If you guys feel a little banged up, uh, your knees tweaked, your elbows got a boo boo, check out Anaconda Fightwear. All the high quality braces. Um, super flexible, super tight, super perfect for grappling at any mixed martial arts. Anaconda Fightwear. Uh, I think it's cold simple man as well. I'm pretty confident. In it that. could be. It it's could something be, right? like that. It's, it's got to like be that. something like Anaconda that. Fightwear. Get your get your uh, get your get back to training sooner with Anaconda Fightwear. And in addition, check out Merrick Health. Uh, I'm getting my blood work done very soon, just to make sure everything's right and optimize. Um, and you should too. You're interested in, in heightening your performance, optimizing your health, and just being healthy in general for as long as possible. You gotta get good blood work done. So check out Merrick Health again. Cold simple man. Code Simple Man, Merrick Health. Got to know what's going on under the hood. Other than that, good to go. Good to go. All right. See you next time. Goodbye.